Now if you go to the stats tab, you will see a section called batches. Now batches in Unity basically means that whenever Unity wants to draw any object into the scene view or the game view, it sends a draw call information to the GPU. So if you will have lots of objects in the scene, Unity will have to send lots of draw call information. However, if two different objects in the scene will have two different materials, in that way, the GPU will have to do more calculation, which eventually increases the CPU overhead. So to avoid this, Unity tries to create batches. Now batches basically means combining several draw calls into one batch. Now the condition to combine those objects into batches is that those objects should have same material. However, Unity uses two different ways to combine those materials. One is called static batching and one is called dynamic batching. By static batching, I mean that that particular object is static. So in this case, this plane, if I click on the static option over here, now this object has become static. If I add another plane to this, that object is static as well. So Unity will be able to combine these two planes and will be able to make them into one batch. So this will actually reduce the draw call from these planes from two to one. So how you can do static batching or how you can decrease the number of batches. The process used by many developers is called texture atlasing. You will see that I have one texture over here and there are small textures embedded in it. This process is called texture atlasing, which you can do in 3D designing softwares like Blender. Now, if I make a material from this, te this texture, it will look like something like this. Now, if I use this material on different game objects, and in that way, Unity will be able to actually batch these different objects together. Now, if you look here, I have different objects in the scene. Now, these different objects have the same material as you can notice. Even though I'm changing the object, the materials are the same. So first, I will try to actually run the game without static. So you will see that currently the total number of batches is 1372. However, if I make them all static, Unity will be able to do static batching. Now, if I hit on the play button, you will see that the total number of batches has decreased to 374. 